Hi everyone, my name is Michaela, and I have some thrifted items that I want to share with you and I am so excited about showing y'all because I got some really amazing prices this time. So let's get started. Okay, so we are starting off with these two pieces here. These were both $5 as a set. I believe this is vintage pewter or silver. If you know, please help me because I'm not very good at identifying some of these things. Um, this is what the bottom looks like on this one. I think this kind of looks like maybe creamer or a gravy boat. And then I'm not sure what this one is for, but I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Um, the bottom says, let me read it to you so that way <laughs> maybe you can help me out. Um, this one says Lexington S.R. Co. I believe and it has a 050 so if you know anything about this I would love for you to share it with me I did look pewter pieces up on Google lens and actually they're pretty expensive so to get these for 250 a piece I feel like that was a really good deal I next got this metal piece here it says give us this day our daily bread which is from the Bible this was only 15 cent 50 cents and the bottom says Taiwan and it has a number on it. This was from my Salvation Army that's local to me. And I just thought it was really pretty for 50 cents. I'm telling you, like recently, I was finding some really great prices on stuff, which is very exciting to someone who likes to find things on a budget. I then found this vintage glass. I just thought it was really pretty with this unique design and I love amber glass. This was only 50 cents. And then I found this mug here. It says Southern Oaks on it. I just thought it was pretty and it would be a good mug for fall. It was only a dollar, which is a really affordable price. And I like the weight of it. It feels nice and heavy. It'd be so great for tea and coffee since all the cold months are coming. I was so excited about this piece. It is this pear fall decoration. It has hangers on the back so you can put it up on the wall or you could set it down but I actually think I would use this year round and not just for fall. I then found this little candle holder. He is a pumpkin and he was two dollars. He is originally from Pottery Barn. He's very heavy and then he has a spot back here where you just put a little tea light candle and then he will light up. So I will definitely be able to use him for fall. He is really cute and heavy. I love heavy pieces. I then got this tin can. Um, it does look vintage to me just from the bottom. I think it looks pretty old. This only cost me 50 cents. Um, and I just, I wanted to start trying to find unique and pretty things like this to organize with in my house. So that way I can organize while also having something that is my style and really pretty to look at. So I was at my Salvation Army and I noticed a shelf kind of over in the corner and I found planters. Now, I never think of looking for planters, honestly, when I go to thrift stores. I don't know why, but I thought this one was really pretty and it was $2. It's a nice size, so can put me some ivies in that or maybe some succulents. They seem to be the main ones that I can keep alive. <laughs> and then I found this terracotta planter. You can get these almost anywhere, but it was only like a dollar or two. I can't remember the exact price, but it was really affordable. So that's a great price because it has the plate with it. And then I found this one here, this basket style planter. So it still has the plastic stuff in it. And this one was also $2. So planters can sometimes be kind of expensive when you're shopping for them. So I get really excited when I do find them because they just are a way to bring so much hominess and coziness into your house. So I get really thankful when I find those. This next piece is, I believe, vintage milk glass. It has this kind of raised bump design. Um, I don't really know what I could use this for. Maybe some potpourri or a planter. I could put a plant here. And this was only $2 and it feels pretty heavy. So it says Brody Co. I'm not familiar. I don't know if this is vintage or if it is a more modern piece, but either way, I really like it. I then found this basket. It's a pretty large one and I love this dark wood color. It has a big handle on it and this was so affordable. It was only 50 cents. Um, and I, if you've been 
on my channel before you know I love baskets because you can organize while also keeping stuff very pretty. And typically I don't find baskets for this cheap. So the fact that this was 50 cents was just shocking to me. And I grabbed that up so fast. The next thing I got is this cute little tray or bowl. This was only 25 cents, so it was really affordable. This will just be a good place to put little rings or jewelry or just anything. I mean, you could even put this by your sink and maybe put like a sponge in it if you wanted to, just to make it a little bit prettier. But I really love those brown tones, um, neutrals, and like all the colors of fall and stuff. I love those colors in my house. Then I found this plate here with a deer on it. We are doing my husband's office and kind of a sportsman theme. So this was only 50 cents and I just thought this was very pretty. And this would even look nice for fall and Christmas decor, I thought. So it says, just says white-tailed deer on it. So that is really pretty. 50 cents was a great price as well. And then I found this really large um, metal basket. So. I don't really know what the purpose of this would have been before, but it has these uh, tea light candle holders on the end. Um, and then it has like a handle here at the top. And then it also had these things here with it. Again, I don't know what this would have been for, but here is the little candle holder piece. So this was $4. I felt like that was a really good price. And um, I thought you could even put this maybe in a bathroom and put like hand towels in it and soaps for your guests or it could be for magazines. I mean, there's so many things that you can do with baskets, but I like this one because it was pretty unique and I love these darker colors. I then got these three pillar candle holders. They were a dollar a piece. Um, and I, <laughs> when I originally bought these. I actually wanted to do a thrift flip with them. So I was gonna do like a DIY thrifting video for decor pieces. But then after I got them home and washed them, I was looking again and I was like, maybe I like these the way they are. <laughs> I kind of like this darker color. So now I don't know if I'm still going to paint them or not, but regardless, they are pretty whether I leave them or when I paint them, I'll pick a color I love. So I'll like it. But I thought a dollar a piece was a really good price for those. So this piece was really exciting for me to find. It was at a yard sale that we found in one of the towns near me. This was $5 and it is a book holder. Now, um, a couple of thrift hauls ago, I found a vintage extra large Bible for 50 cents at a thrift store. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, I'll link that if you want to go watch it, It'll be in the description box. But anyways, I have been looking for something to hold that Bible because I don't want it to get damaged. So I was so excited to see this. So it folds up when you don't need to use it, but I love it because it's wood and I just love the design on it. It's going to look so great with my vintage Bible. Um, I felt like $5 was a pretty good price for it. And then it just has these little flowers and cutouts all through it. Oh, I'm so excited to have this. I cannot wait to have a safe spot to put my beautiful Bible. Okay, so this piece, it looks a little rough because I had the intention of painting this for um, that DIY video I was talking about. It was only $2, but the paint job um, is coming off and uh, it's just really chippy looking. It's not my style. So I'm gonna do a video soon over flipping some pieces that I found into something much prettier. This was only $2. It's a pretty large planter. You can see it's like the size of my forearm. Um, and it's nice and heavy. It was originally from TJ Maxx for $7.99. Um, uh, so it's not vintage or anything, but that doesn't matter. I still like it. So gonna paint this up soon, make it look a lot prettier. I then found this swan here, and this color is not something that I gravitate towards, but I do love the shape of it. And I think this is for putting like hand towels or um, washcloths in, in your bathroom. Like you can roll them up and set it in here. So I'm going to try to paint this again in that uh, thrift flip video I was talking about. And I wanted to find a way to make this more my style because I just think the shape of her is really pretty. This was only like 50 cents or a dollar. It was really affordable. I then found this little, uh, I believe it's wicker, this little wicker duck planter, or you could put something in here. I just thought it was really cute and I really like ducks 
and my husband likes them too, especially when we get to his office. This will look so great in there. This was only 50 cents, really cheap. And then at that yard sale where I found the uh, Bible book holder, they also had these trays. So it had this larger one with these handles here on the side. This was $3. And then this one here they had as well for $3. So it has that same kind of cottagey um, looking design on it. And you know stuff like this, you can use it for so many things. You can decorate with it. Um, you could use it for food around the holidays or special events if you want to. Um, you can also like lean this one up against a shelf or on the wall for like a backdrop for something. So. I thought $3 a piece was really good for those. They're made of wood. I was at a thrift store and I found this picture frame. And I really liked it because it has these uh, kind of vintage looking floral designs all around the edge. I thought it was really unique looking. So it's, I think it's like an eight by 10 size. This was really cheap. I think it was like $1.50. So I'm gonna have to get um, a vintage print off of uh, the internet and see if I can find something that will look pretty with that. This next piece here is also a picture with a frame, but I'm not that big of a fan of the picture. Sorry about the glare. I'm trying to make it where you can see, but the frame is what I got it for. It's nice and heavy and I love the color. I don't even want to change the color. So I believe this was like $2.50, which is a really good price for a nice quality frame. I then found this vintage plate here. Um, I believe this is called transferware. Again, if you know what it's called, tell me please because <laughs> I'm trying to learn terms, but I think I've heard people say this is transferware. <laughs> but anyways, it says Vancouver, Vancouver, BC and Canada. And I know that a few of you that watch my channel are from Canada. So it made me think of you when I found this piece. The back of it says, I think it says decorated in Canada, 22 karat gold. This was only a dollar, so little plates like this are so fun to decorate with. I want to try and find a curio cabinet um, to put here in my sunroom. We are getting close to being done with the renovation to where I can actually start decorating and finding furniture, so I'm very excited to share that with all of you. But I want to find a curio cabinet in here so that I can have a perfect excuse to add way more thrifted items to it. <laughs> Because if I have more shelves, I can get more things to fill them up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is all that I have today. Thank you so much for watching. God bless each and every one of you. And if you want to see more thrift videos, then I will have them linked. Or you can go to my uh, channel and there's a whole playlist full of thrift hauls. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you next time. Bye.